Hey, my friend. Hey, I know you are doing so, so well. Listen, we deal with so many, so many issues in sales, in business development. But, I mean, I want to introduce you to this law. I want to share some law with you. And I want to spend time on the law of intentionality. Listen, so many people get into business with that right leverage. I know I talked about that early, but I want to break that down and deal with the law of intentionality. You know, remember, maybe the last time you probably, or any major event you accomplished in your life, how does that happen? You start by the right intention, but you know, say, hey, this is what I want. It could be a beautiful home, or it could be uh, just the business that you started, or it could be just, you know, decide to go after a degree, or just, you know, be part of something big. It starts with intention. And I will dive into that, how you can apply into your business, how you can apply into the product or service that you offer. As an entrepreneur, you have to be so intentional. So I would deal with the law of intentionality in business. You know, one of the things that we, I will introduce, I will talk about mainly will be, firstly, the growth. You know, I always say this, and even John Maxwell said this repeatedly. Your business will reflect your level of knowledge. Your business will always reflect your level of knowledge, your level of leadership, you know, the, your income, whatever money you have, you have in bank, reflect your level of leadership. If you want to make more, you must become more. And if you want to do more, you must become more. If you want to get bigger, you must become more. So is, this doesn't just happen. So you must grow yourself in order to grow your business. Yes, we have been talking about product. We have been talking about service. We have been talking about the enterprise. But guess what? Who have to run this machine? You. So you have to be so, 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 so intentional when it comes to a business. So we'll talk about growth, strategy of growth. Um, but the first thing I want to do, I want to, you know, to talk about it will be the gap. The gap from where you are and where you want to be. There's always a gap. You're in your business plan, there's a gap. In your life, there's a gap. In, 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 in even your product, how you're trying to target the market, there's a gap. And we have to come up with a way to close that gap. So you can accomplish that vision, you can accomplish that mission, so you can get exactly where you want to, want to go. Listen, some people don't want to do business. Why? Because the gap is so big and they get af so afraid and disqualify themselves before they even start a business. It doesn't matter where you are, it's always gonna be a gap. I have a gap in my business, you have a gap. Any other person on earth have gap in their business and their project. But what we will deal with it is the strategy to close this gap. So I'll talk about 10 levels, 10, 10 ways we can use to close this gap, to grow you to become the person that will really, 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 really run this business, will serve this business, the person that will bring that vision to pass, the person who will develop the leadership, which is strong enough to fulfill the, the vision. When we talk about business, we talk about team. We talk about leaders. We talk about visioner. So we will deal with that huge, huge, huge gap. I'm, that huge gap. I'm just excited about it and... Um, like I said, by the end of this video, you will master, we will narrow down the gap, and you will know the pathway, how to go in and break, break, and break all of that, uh, you know, break a step out of the gap and make it flat. All right, so tomorrow, get ready, we dab it, we'll dab it in it. This is gonna just be excited, it's gonna be powerful, and then you apply this immediately in your life. All right, see you tomorrow.